6 February 2021 at the evening 6.30 I got a call from Lieutenant Nanda from Siachen and uh, he just expressed that in Siachen whatever the habitat they have it is not a fireproof it catches fire just in 10 seconds time and also it is unable to withstand that low minus temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius. He requested Professor Brahmic will you be able to provide certain solution for that? I said, okay, just give me a three or two months to six months time. We will be giving the specific solution. So me and my two PhD scholars, Ms. Jennifer and Mr. Sudhindra, and my technician, Mr. Tulukamaran, we worked very hard for, uh, for this project. And by August last year, we really got the solution. And then uh, <clears throat> Northern Command of Indian Army, they came forward and uh, then we took that a small bunker or shelter from here from Coimbatore to Leh and then Leh to Siachen at the altitude of 17,500 feet high with a temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius and the oxygen level is very low and tested significantly there under the very harsh climatic condition. The new composite was doused in petrol and a fire was lit. With the fire on top, the temperature read 320 degrees centigrade. On the other side, the temperature recorded was just 60 degrees centigrade. The new composite was also exposed to sustained flame for over 10 minutes. Not only did it not catch fire, but it also proved to be a good insulation material. To test the composite's efficacy in extreme cold temperature, it was exposed to dry ice at minus 48.5 degrees centigrade for 30 hours, while the outer surface of the composite was at minus 48.5 degrees centigrade, the temperature on the inner side was as low as 2.8 degrees centigrade. Density of the composite is 0.9 grams per cubic centimeter and it can float in water. The composite is truly ultra lightweight. Headquarters Northern Command of the Indian Army enabled the conduct of a field trial on 15 and 16 December 2021 in Ladakh at a forward post where the temperature ranged between minus 25 degree to minus 15 degree centigrade. A prototype bunker was made using panels of the new ultra lightweight thermally insulated fireproof composite. The design was modular and very simple so that it could be easily assembled in the field. The bunker was doused with kerosene oil and set on fire. The hybrid composite remained intact despite the very high temperature. Insulation properties of the bunker were tested under field conditions and found to be highly satisfactory. The hybrid composite exhibited good impact and compression properties. A 10 kg stone dropped in the composite made no difference to the panel. The ultra lightweight thermally insulated fireproof composite is ideal for storage and living bunkers on the Siachen Glacier and other high altitude areas. The ultra lightweight thermally insulated fireproof composite can have multiple structural applications in spacecraft, aircraft, rail and road transport and fireproofing of buildings. The potential is limitless. A company in Baroda called Netaji Subhas Advanced Materials Limited will manufacture this product for the Indian Defence Forces such as Indian Army, Indo-Tibetan Border Police or the BSF.